Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I told you I was going to be playing this. What I'm not 100% sure of is how good the volume balance is. I was playing around with it before I started, but you all know that could be iffy. So you guys let me know how it is in the comments. In the meantime, welcome to Kirby's Dreamland Deluxe. I have very fond memories of this original release, not just because of, you know, nostalgia, as one would assume, but it's actually just a legit really good game that I spent a lot of time on. And I'll probably spend a lot of time on it again. This is definitely something I really enjoy doing. Hold on, let me just adjust the game audio a little bit now. I hope that's a little better. Also adjust this a little bit. I should probably be doing this before the video, but oh well. <clears throat> Alright, so I want to do a fresh file here. I will say connect because I don't really care. You can watch my gameplay if you want. I would like other people to watch my gameplay. And yes, there is a very good chance that I will be doing a co-op file on this as well. As my roomie and I played through this game pretty much 100%. And King DDD looks annoyed that he even has to chase Kirby for cake. Meta Knight is just annoyed. And here comes a wormhole. And there goes the cake. You can see where Kirby's attention is. It's like, ho hum, I see wormholes every day. What happened to my cake? Don't you just love it when a ship breaks apart into perfectly protected spherical bar barriers that hold all your parts together? You don't have to worry about building new parts, you just have to get other parts back. Now Meta Knight joins them because he's like, eh, I'm bored. And every group has to have the Lone Wolf Edgelord, right? Oh my god, I'm spherical. Yeah, that's what that's what we call just a completely broken ship. So that sets up the stakes of our journey. And Kirby's just a really nice dude. And the others follow Kirby's lead, mostly because, hey, everyone wants to be a really nice dude. Isn't it convenient that all the pieces fell at the very tips of the star? And we're off! Kind of, because it's still cutscene time. Also, say hello to the birds. They're just being real. They're just really excited to be here, is all it is. All right now, I know I could do this. It's basically like it's like gold. It's like the golden leaf in the Mario games, but. I just don't feel I need that. I've played through this game a good few times. So I feel pretty comfortable in my ability to do a 100% run. Yes, I know. I'll be taking advantage of that later. Oh, hey, I should change the controls. We will go to Type B, which I I wish the game would 
would just default to allowing you to just rebind the keys as you like, but at the same time, the <clears throat> the setting that I want is already there, so I guess I'm not going to complain too much. It's just, you know, complete key rebinding doesn't seem like it should be that alien of a concept at this point. So I should explain that the way that I like to play Kirby games, I try to go minimal on the number of times I use flight. Sometimes I can get away with not using it, sometimes I can't. Sometimes you just run into an open flame, but... Give me that. The whole idea being that even though these games aren't difficult, I like to give myself just a little bit of something to latch on to. Ow. Right, give me that back. I also have to imagine that if you're watching if you're watching this playthrough starting at World 1, you're probably looking at it going, Dark Sage, who in the world needs a 100% walkthrough for Kirby's Return to Dreamland? And the answer is, eh, does it matter? I'm really just having fun. But I'm giving myself parameters to work with. And to me, that's the most important part. That's not even a sword! Kirby, that's a bamboo stick, and you know it. That's a sword. That's a butcher knife. It doesn't really have a hilt, so I'm not sure if you can call it a sword. That is also not a sword. It's still, it's still a bamboo rod. And yes, I know that's technically called a bowken. But that doesn't mean it's a sword. It means it's a pseudo-sword. And yes, I know I don't need to necessarily do that, but I'm not trying to be a speedrunner, I'm just trying to be me. So if you're upset that I'm not using, like, the top speedrunning strats, too goddamn bad, that's not what I'm doing. And we'll use Sword against the Sphere Doomer. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fighting a Sphere Doomer. And there we go. And that's all the energy spheres from this level. Let's just go ahead and finish it up in our beautiful knitted hat. Also, if I were going for speed run, I would probably not even try to get maximum score on this. But this is more so about just having fun with the idea of completion in general. And that's stage one. Beautiful introduction to the game. Editing. And we're off. Oh, hold on. I want the leaf ability.
Now, I know that one of the things that I was... I mean, it was a little sticking point for me personally for, for Kirby and the Forgotten Land, as well as Loud Birds. I hear you over there. Is that it, it kind of lacked some of these special techniques that the different abilities had. But I know why that is. It's because if they wanted to do that in, for, in Kirby and the Forgotten Land... They would have to do it in a, in a sort of, like, Devil May Cry setup, and I think that might have been just a little too daunting for Kirby's first 3D outing. Like, it was designed with more simple design principles in mind, and I think that might have been a little bit much for the gamers that were looking for something just a little easier. So even though it would have been appreciated from a gamer like me, who is looking for more depth... I do understand that it probably wasn't the wisest idea to go along with that. But just imagine a 3D Kirby game that's controlled very similarly to Dante or Bayonetta. I, how great would that be? Oh yeah, Kirby can block and dodge like that. So yeah, that is that is the block is not something that would add it into the game. The dodge rolls were. Yes, we are going to need this for our first energy sphere. Ah, but you thought I was going to die, didn't you? Alright, go away. And the reason why I'm switching abilities so frequently is because I want to make sure I'm showing them all off for you guys properly. That having been said, I am not the biggest fan of Needle, and I'll be grabbing Beam later. Yes, I forgot I could do that for a moment. And let's not forget about Energy Sphere number two, which I would get up to without flying, but I don't think I can. Go ahead and grab Beam. Oops. Alright, now I have to pick up Sword to get the last Energy Sphere. And that's all the Energy Spheres for 1-2. I'm not gonna turn down a burger and fries, especially after I've been... after I've been sick with Norovirus. Yeah, I could really go for a burger and fries right about now. Alright, stage two, 100%. We now move on to stage three, and I believe this opens Merry Megaland. Yep, so it does. I can go there anytime by pressing X. I will probably be showing that off sometime later on. Right now, I just want to play Kirby. Oh yeah, electricity. I should probably show that off. This ability works, yes, by you by moving the control to charge up power. Lightning strike. All right, so the moves the move set is very very simple.
Now, I'm, I know in Kirby Superstar, this particular move is a speedrunner's dream. I don't know how well it would work in this game. You choose which path to go down, but you can go down further, and oh, look at that, an energy sphere. Who ever saw that coming, aside from everybody? Alright, I'm gonna take a guess that I need a cutting ability in order to get something up here. If nothing else, I'm glad I got to shore you Ken into a cupcake. Like how many times do you get to do you ever get to say that to someone? Yes, I know I can fly, but see the disclaimer that I that I brought out when I first started this. Oh, yeah, give me that. Alright, there's gonna be a key that I need to bring back here, so we need to clear the path. Not the most brain-bending puzzle in the world, but... <laughs> You know, depending on depending on your particular level of object permanence, you may have forgotten that there is a locked door back there. Oh, that's why you preserve that ground. Oh well. As much as I love pineapples, I did not need that one. Oh, we have to outrace the Spoink. I know it's not a Pokemon, but I don't care. Not that this is at all hard. Hey, right, come here, pig. Give me your key. Hey, uh, what are you? Festival! You literally party everybody to death. Okay, I had no idea. It's basically this game's replacement for Mike or Crash, I guess. Stage three. And if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, that means stage four should have four. And I am correct. time we will take the pineapple. Ow. Again. Got the wrong button. Alright, so let's go back here and make sure that we didn't miss anything. Because, obviously, there's an energy sphere there that we did not 
collect. Oh, look at that. Gotta pay attention to those Swiss cheese mountains. Now, I know there is no, like, actual archer ability. I know there is Cupid, which was from the Amazing Mirror. it was, but I guarantee it's something for Mary Magaland. Do I even care about sword? I don't think I do. I do care about this trumpet. Alright, let's grab a new one. I wouldn't mind taking the Leaf ability, but I'm pretty sure an Ultra skill is coming up. Ow. Alright, that's two. hide things behind star blocks, not for me. And for what it's worth, I'm pretty sure there is a hard mode of this game, and I will probably be playing that, just to make sure everyone is in the loop here. So if the only thing you know my channel for is Wizard of Legend, this is me trying to diversify a bit. Also, yes, speedrunners ignore the um, ignore the ultra abilities because even though they are flashy and fun, they are also slow. How did we miss those guys? See, thing is, they're also res they're also necessary for 100%. So, I mean, you know, if I do learn to speed run the game, I'll probably be learning how to do a 100% category. Game, why do you still feel like I need to know how to inhale? Figured that out. Level 1-1. One, one. Yes, give me those Tetris pieces. I'll take Leaf. That's all of the all of the energy spheres on world one. We've only got one thing left to do in this world.
And obviously do a happy dance, but that's not quite what I'm getting at. See, that's Kirby just using his roundness to his advantage. And I know I can't break dance. Which is a shame, because I'm kind of round. Boss? Oh my. Collect lots of stamps to get special souvenirs. Aw, oh, man! Alright, so we can take Cutter, or Fire, or Beam, but I prefer Nature on Nature. Yo, Kirby, this is only the hundredth time you've tangled with Wispy Woods. You should know how this works by now. You suck. And very literally in this case. Ah, damn it. I need to learn that pattern. Stop letting that happen to me. Yes, because ships that go through space still need goddamn oars. And at the very end there, we get to see Kirby do his sexy pose. Don't act like you weren't thinking it. And no need to actually, like, have an engineering degree or anything. Just, you want to fix something? Just throw one part into another part and it'll just fuse itself in place. Wait, we've repaired the first part of your ship, and by repaired, I mean magically fused. Well, so far we've gotten all of them. Looking forward to Samurai Kirby, it's been a while. Even challenge stages. I kind of forgot about the challenge stages, not gonna lie. Alright, well I'm gonna save the challenge stage for another time. This seems like a good way to start off a 100% playthrough. You know, with a 100% of World 1. How else do you start it off? So thank you guys very much for checking it out. I really do appreciate that. We'll head back to mode selection. Why not? The theater. All right, so thank you very much. Do the usual YouTube stuff. The like, comment, share, subscribe. It's a lot that YouTube wants you to do just to keep up with people whose videos you like watching because they're like, he said round. But that's, that's all from me. So again, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. You spending your free time with me really makes me happy. And hey, I'll catch you guys in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.